blessing, 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 blessing. Yeah, baby girl, you're a blessing, 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 blessing. I want you to know you're a blessing. Welcome back to another video. Today I'm gonna be talking about things that anybody that's gonna start a YouTube channel that is gonna be doing makeup videos should um like essentials for new YouTubers. If you like this video, make sure you like, comment, share the video with your friends, and subscribe if you have not. Let's get into the video. <clears throat> so, I am a new YouTuber, and I am still trying to find my niche as far as like what I really want my channel to be about. So far, I'm really like sort of feeling being into makeup. I was already into doing makeup on my channel, or like makeup, period. Um, and I really don't think that that's the only thing I want to offer my channel because I'm really not that good at it But I'm still learning and it's okay And I'm pretty sure that there are people out there that want to learn with me So today I'm just going to be talking about different things that I find helpful um, With being a beginner and doing my makeup on my channel so the first thing I, first things I want to say before you try to do any type of makeup on your channel, you want to make sure you have very clean skin, um, make sure you have a good moisturizer, uh, maybe an oil, something to keep your skin, uh, make your makeup glide on pretty easy. So after you have your skin pretty clear, you want to make sure you have a really good primer. Now if you're a beginner and you don't have like high-end money, you want to start with some drugstore items. I personally use a Maybelline Baby Skin and it's instant pore eraser and to me it's pretty good. It's like a silicone based primer and it, um, I usually like let it dry before I put on my, apply my makeup. But it works really good as far as making my makeup look um, more finished and making my pores look uh, minimized. And if you um, want to go to the drugstore, you could probably try this out or just look and see what other um, primers they have. They have different type of primers, some for pores, some for dry skin, some for oily skin. Whatever fits your need, you want to make sure before you do any makeup videos, you want to have a good primer. So after you prime your skin, um, and I'm doing this video just basically off the order that I usually do my makeup because it'll help me remember everything that I need to know. So after I usually prime my skin, I start with my brows. And now my brows take usually forever to do. And I used to use just a brow, a pencil um, to draw in my brows and a concealer, but I recently got this um, Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade in Ebony. And this has worked better for me than any of the brow pencils that I ever had. I used to have the Brow Wiz and I loved it and it was awesome. But this Dip Brow Pomade is next level. Like I cannot, I'm not even joking with you guys. This works so much better than anything that I ever used. And this is, I got this from Sephora and it's not cheap. So if you're starting out and you're not really sure like how to work with your brows, you want to make sure you probably start off with a pencil or something that's not expensive so you're not wasting your money and you're getting your money's worth. So after I do draw my brows, I usually use a concealer and when I started off I was using the LA Girl Pro Concealer and I still use this because it is really good and it's it, it gets the job done. So I use LA Girl Pro Concealer um, and recently I moved up and got fancy with it and I got um, Too Faced Born This Way it's supposed to be like a full coverage concealer um, but I use it just to like clean my brows up make them look more uniform and I really really like this concealer and I'm probably gonna go and get the um, foundation to match just so I'll have like a complete set of something so that I'll know like that this is really what is good for me um, but if you go to the drugstore they have pretty good concealers there as well I've only ever used um, LA Girl Pro Concealer. I did have Maybelline Concealer, um, but I didn't use it that much to be able to give like a, a true um, example of if it was good or not. Now you can definitely try different drugstore concealers um, if it's not too much, uh, just to see what works better for you, what's easier for you, what works better for your skin. Um, but yeah, I use a Too Faced Born This Way concealer to help with my brows, clean them up. So after my brows are done, I usually try to do my eyes. Um, just because some, some um, 
eyeshadows have like a lot of fallout and I don't want to do my full foundation and and go some get ready to go somewhere then do my eyeshadow then I have all these colors all over my face so um, I usually go ahead and go next with my my lids so to prime my lids you can use an eyelid primer they have so many different kinds also but me personally since I'm a beginner with YouTube and with makeup I like to use my um, products for different things so I also use LA girl pro concealer for my lids as like a base because I have hyperpigmentation on my my lids so since they're so dark use a concealer to like um, even amount even it with your skin so you you can use LA girl pro concealer or whatever kind of concealer that you have um, I just use my Too Faced uh, you know I'm gonna get my money's worth with this so I use this for everything so I use some concealer to set my brow set my lids sorry once my brow my lids are set and ready to go I like to have a good variety of eyeshadows now I am no expert on eyeshadow so my eyeshadows are sometimes all over the place I'm still learning and since I do want to offer more um, videos with different eye looks I have to have a variety of shadows um, from Target I got these two um, profusion, profusion palettes and they work pretty good I mean you use a lot of shadow with it but they work really good and you get a good color and these have so many different varieties of things you can do so this works really good like if you like I said if you're on a budget get get something that you can use that'll be in your budget so I have these that were about ten dollars a piece um, I also have like this morphe 35 in um, eyeshadow palette that I got a while back and I hardly ever touch it because of the, I'm just not familiar with it and if you do go out and get like a high-end like a morphe palette or even these palettes I have here or this new one I recently got um, from Ulta whatever palette it is you could always go on YouTube and look to see what other people what other like what looks people have done with that palette so that you have a good idea of what you could possibly do with the the palette that you have and if you haven't you know if it's not a high-end if it's something that um, you know maybe off Amazon or eBay or something like you know really really cheap you could you could, you could just do different things but you can just play with it and to see like what works for you so after I do uh, eyeshadow I usually try to wait to do my lashes and my eyeliner until the very end so after my eyeshadow is all on and I'm like okay I'm done I'm gonna move on I go back in with some concealer but not just a regular concealer I go in with a correcting concealer because I have dark circles and dark spots on my face so I go in with a, a color corrector to help even my skin to make my foundation look flawless um, and this is also LA girl I'm telling you LA girl is a ride or die concealer you can get it from a beauty supply I believe they might have this at Walmart or Target I'm not for sure once I've done color correcting, I'll go in with a foundation. Now, right now, I've basically been using my Maybelline Fit Me Dewy or um, for dry skin. I have two different kind of um, Maybelline foundations. And I also have a Fenty Beauty foundation, but it's really dark. I got it last summer, so I haven't gotten that dark yet, but I'm saving it because I'm coming back to you, Fenty Beauty. And Fenty Beauty was a little... I think it was about $20, $22 maybe. I can't remember. But that was the most I ever spent on a foundation. Um, this Maybelline Fit Me was probably about 6 or 7 bucks, So it wasn't bad for a drugstore. It works for me. I'm not um, very good at knowing like full coverage and doing everything with my skin. So um, this works really good. And if you wanted to try out different things, I would definitely try out drugstore foundations first because I am really bad at matching my like foundation with my skin so I just, it's like a trial and error thing so if you don't know like what your shade is you can always go in and put it on your hand and let it dry to see if that works or you can buy it and if it's not the right shade for you you can return it, it it's just different things you can do I go in with my foundation I'll usually follow up with concealer to conceal my imperfections and like I said before I got my Too Faced born this way I use under my eyes my nose my t-zone you know anywhere that I want to highlight and make look good now I have not mentioned though like the type of brushes 
to use uh, because I'll, doing eyeshadows and brows and foundation, you use brushes or you could use your hands. Uh, I have a beauty sponge here. Uh, it's dirty. I just used it, so um, don't judge me. But uh, you can use a beauty sponge to do your foundation. I have, uh, if you have like one good fluffy brush, um, a dense like a flat brush, a kabuki brush, a flat kabuki brush. Um, I have a few like fluffy eyeshadow brushes. If you have like a few eyeshadow brushes, uh, angled brush for my brows. Um, and then I have like a two-sided, like a double-sided brush for contouring and um, other things. I, I mean, you don't have to spend a lot of money on brushes either. You can go on Amazon and buy, you know, a cheap brush set. Or you can go to Burlington, Target, TJ Maxx. They all sell brushes. So, after I do my concealer, I like to go in and set my concealer. And I usually use this Revolution um, Banana Deep Baking powder or my Mary Kay just depending on the day and what I'm feeling like what I want to look like um, I use that to set it and I usually use my beauty sponge for it once I've done that I usually go in and try to um, bronze my face I guess you could say bronze. I use a bronzer to like bring some definition to my face because once I use like foundation my face feels really flat and I just got to bring some dimension back to it because it's like a hot mess with, without no dimension so I, I have this Becca um, bronzer and uh, Maui Nights and this is more like on the red side. So when I use this, my face looks really red and bronze. I guess that's what I'm going for, but I really don't, I just don't use this. I use this plus like a darker shade because of my color. I want it to look, you know, deeper than the red. I want it to look dark. I ordered this. Um, True Complexion Contour. I didn't order. I think I got this from Ulta, actually. Yeah, I did. I got this from Ulta. And it just has, like, a dark shade, which is what I use for my contour. A uh, medium shade to sculpt, which I don't use it because it's close to my skin color. But I do use this, like, golden for the highlighter sometimes. And I also sometimes go on with my eyeshadows to do a uh, highlight, depending on the look. Um, makeup is universal. I use everything that I have for different uses. Like my eye, my some of my brushes I don't just use for my eyes. Sometimes I use it for my um, highlight, depending on whatever you know I want to go for. I'll use different brushes for different things because I pay for them, so I want to get my money's worth, honestly. And once I'm done contouring my face, I go in with my um, Fit Me Maybelline um, Matte and Poreless like powder. Um, so I know I use my liquid foundation, but I also go in with a powder after because I'll have like light under my eyes and in my highlighted areas and then I'll have my contour dark and in the other areas and I just need to even that all out. So I'll take a big fluffy brush and use my my um, powder foundation all over just to even it out and make it look, you know, better. So this works for me and this is also from, a, it's a drugstore product and it worked really well for me. After I use my foundation, my powder foundation to set my face, I like to go in with my lashes. And like I said before, I am not a makeup guru, uh, makeup artist, an influencer. I hope to be an influencer. I'm gonna speak it into existence because I'm going to be a, a makeup influencer, makeup artist, a guru, I'm gonna be all of that. So for the time being though, I go to the drugstore to get lashes. And I usually get my lashes from Walmart. Um, and they're usually about five or six bucks for a pair of lashes. But again, if that's out of your price range, if you're just starting out and you don't know what you're doing, you don't know how to add lashes, you can always just use a mascara. But for me, I recently went out of town and I went to a beauty supply house and I got some really cheap really really cheap lashes that look really good to me I mean they're they're not expensive at all they're like two or three bucks um, and I went and got a different like you know different kinds of lashes just because sometimes I want to get like different looks out of the lashes and they were like you know like I said two or three bucks and I get a bunch of them so that once I'm done if they didn't work for me I'll toss them and if they do work for me I'll reuse so after I apply my lashes I and I apply my lashes with a hair glue and I know I know I know there's so many people out there that says say that you shouldn't you should use like eyelash 
adhesive but I don't know if it's just me but it does not work for me at all adhesive does not work and this works really good for me so I'm gonna stick to it until I can find something that works um, but I apply my lashes and then I'll go in with the eyeliner and I use elf eyeliner I haven't found any eyeliner that works better than this and this was like a dollar so like I said if you're a beginner this works good I'll go in with my Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. A setting spray will set your makeup, make you look good and you know, fresh and everything. And um, this was, I got it from Sephora. Um, and this is just like a travel size, it's a small one. I wanted to try it out and I really like it. But if you're not like, you, like I said before, if you're a beginner and you don't wanna spend the money, they have different type of like setting sprays. And sometimes if I can't find my Urban Decay, I use my Mario Badesco skincare uh, spray. And but sometimes uh, after I clean my face and I'm ready to start my makeup, if I just want a little extra hydration, I use my Mario Badesco spray as well, just to hydrate my skin a little bit more. But if I don't have my setting spray, I'll use this. It works perfectly fine as well. So once my skin is set, um, I usually use my highlighter to, you know, glow it up. And then it's also a good idea to have a few different, like, glosses. Oops, I'm a mess today. But um, I have a lot more glosses, but I didn't want to bring everything in and crowd my space right now. So... I got these two glosses from e.l.f. and that one is like a nude and one is a pink color, um, Baby Sorbet and Praline. I use these depending on the type of look. Um, I use a darker color sometimes, like this is like a dark, a deep color. This is, I don't know who it's from, but it's, a, it's not expensive. It's from Walmart. I got another cheap one, Wet n Wild from Walmart. Now this is like a, a weird color, but it's really like... I haven't used it yet. I don't know what type of look I want to do with it. But, yeah, there's this one. And I have this one from Revlon. It's also a dark color. But I have darks. I have a MAC lipstick in Ruby Wool. I didn't bring it because, like I said before, I have so much stuff on the table already. I just didn't want to bring more. Um, but have a variety. Uh, even if you go to Walmart and get some um inexpensive lipsticks or lip glosses have a variety so that you can change up your look go from day to night go from um natural to like kaboom if you want to you want to do something different and fresh it's always a good idea to just have a variety so you can have different now me i don't have a problem with my the lip size i have but um if there are people out there that have small lips that want to make their lipstick pop there is lip plumper and I have this Sephora uh, lip plumper and outrageous and I, I use it just as a gloss um, but you can use lip glosses lipsticks whatever and um, after I'm done now you would think that that would be all but after I'm done going wherever I'm supposed to be after I'm done going wherever I'm supposed to be going, doing whatever I'm supposed to do, after you come home, you want to get it all off. And I usually just get some good wipes. I usually use uh, the Maybelline makeup wipes, but these are the um, Walmart brand, and they work just as fine. I like them to be like nice and um, not really wet, but not dry, if, you, if that makes sense. Uh, but I use these, wipe out my makeup off. I usually use about two of these before I do my skincare routine at night or whatever time it is that I'm coming back in um, and those work really well so that is all I feel like as a basic beginner um, to YouTube doing makeup those are things that are good to start off with um, now they might, might not be the products that work for you but they are good good like points on what to look for as far as what things you should have that will work for your channel, that will work for your makeup looks, that will work for you. And if the, any of these things are something that you're interested in, or if you have any ideas for, for me, for better things that I could use to help my makeup looks pop more, look better, bring more attention to my channel, leave it in the comments below for me to check out.